So we don't pay VAT. We don't pay income tax or national insurance. On the other hand, we don't claim dole money, social security, supplementary benefit, do we, eh? Eh? The government don't give us nothing, so we don't give the government nothing. Eh? <laughs> My brother, don't you, eh? Yeah, of course I do. How are you going, Dave? Sorry I'm late, Del boy. I had to pop round my sisters to arrange an alibi for next Thursday. Do you see? Del. Mm. Del. What? Why'd they call him Trigger? Does he carry a gun? No, it's because he looks like a horse. We shouldn't have anything to do with him, Del. Police most probably looking for him right now. <laughs> Tell us the truth. How the police look at these things, Trigger? No, they're not, Del. And that's the truth. Why are you hiding it under the table, then? Well, because you never know when they're going to start looking for him, do you? <laughs> Open one. What's the combination? No sod knows. That's why they're rejects. <laughs> <laughs> there must be a bit of paper with them giving you the combination. Yes, there is. It's inside the briefcase, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> this thing still ain't working properly. It's because you're playing drafts on it. It's a talking chess game. You can't play drafts on a talking chess game. Why not? Because you're supposed to play chess on it. That's why it's called a talking chess game. <laughs> Chess. Why don't they invent a talking drafts game? Because if they did, you'd most probably want to play bloody Ludo on it. You've got to suffer paradise before you can realise what you left behind. Your own. Your family. Your passport. Your passport. <laughs> Your passport. <laughs> scared the wife's going to see it and suss it all out. Spoil a surprise. Spoil everything, Rodney. It's a birthday present for my bet on the side. <laughs> <laughs> His bit on the side. His bit. Oh, never mind, Boise. So long since Rodney had a bit on the side, he didn't know they'd moved it. <laughs> For Valentine's Day, I was going to get some black stockings and some of them sensible walking brogues, right? Then for Christmas, it was going to get a whistle and a set of handcuffs. <laughs> no, you were lucky she gave you the elbow when she did. Those panda cars cost a bomb, you know. <laughs> Drink up, we're leaving. <laughs> you are great, you are. You're the last miracle left of this earth. <laughs> Shut up and drink up, will you? Yeah, yeah. And a couple of ravers. <laughs> and a couple of geezers. <laughs> An idea to give him some practice on grass, you see, because over in the States they use that stuff called AstroTurf. What do you prefer, Rodney? Rodney? What do you prefer? AstroTurf or grass? Oh, I don't know. I never smoked AstroTurf. <laughs> Didn't Grandad tell you that I telephoned? Oh, yeah, he told me. Del Boy's been captured by the Indians, you see. I didn't know where to phone the police or the Texas Rangers. Oh, <laughs> you didn't tell Grandad which Indian restaurant you was in. I've been crashing through the doors of every curry house and takeaway from Battersea Bridge to Collier's Wood Tube Station. I can never walk out of that Vauxhall Villex, Dukes of Hazard fashion, make a jib party and say, get stuffed in Urdu. Come on, let's get something to eat. I always feel emotionally peckish when I've been gutted. Well, there's a curry house down the road, Del. <laughs> no, only joking, Del boy. Del! I'm only joking! Del. No, a widow. Blimey, what? He kicked the bucket and all, did he? I'm not, oh, no, I am sorry. Sorry, I didn't... I didn't mean that. I'm sorry. <laughs> what that about that? Isn't that a shame, eh, Rodney? You know, she had two husbands die on her. Yeah, one more, she keeps a match ball. <laughs> I remember the last time she hooked him. I mean, up till then, we was doing all right. Well, your mum had died and your dad had run off and left you. But, but... other than that, tickety-boo. Right. <laughs> Natural. Stay vaguely at them tellies, right, and no questions. Ah. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> <laughs> He heard last night that the police had investigated Bobby Finch's death. Apparently, he died of food poisoning. Food poisoning? Mm. <laughs> Your breakfast getting cold, Del, bro. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Who? Who are we? You mean... We've been in your house for five hours, had all your shepherd's pie and had a bath each, and you don't know who we are. Shh, listen. 
I'll take the living room. Rodney, you take the bedroom. Granddad, you take the kitchen. Right. And good luck. Go on, my son. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. She only found a talking clock in America, don't she? Are you connected to America? It's amazing, isn't it? Hello! Hang it up! <laughs> well, don't you see what the dream's trying to tell you? As you're standing on that balcony with your red drink, just above your head, in 50-foot-high neon lettering, is the word... TIT. No, no, no. Not there, Granddad, not there. No, no, we've got three tonne of it here. You see, you've got to spread it out over a wide area. Otherwise, we'll be having tea with Mrs. Oboko downstairs. <laughs> yeah. Your tax disc fell off, did it? In the post. Well, why have you got a little sign on your windscreen saying tax impost? We did have it, it fell off. <laughs> you been at those funny fags again, Rodney? No, I haven't. Good, because Wayne there is looking for his first nick. More often than not, my brother George lied about his age. Pretended he was 18? No, he was 18, he pretended he was 14. <laughs> <laughs> they saw through it, though. I think it was the moustache. Oh, we're pretty shrewd, Rodney. Because they started dropping a bomb on us right now. We'd be as safe as houses, brother. Safe as houses. <laughs> I'm all burnt up so as they look like rock hard prunes. <laughs> oh, good. Well, dinner won't be long then. Body language? Yeah, it's no good for you, Granddad. You'd need an interpreter. <laughs> Plug put on this thing, Rodney. I don't know why they want these drug addiction centres anyhow. I mean, ain't we got enough drug addicts without them recruiting them? <laughs> oh, it was ready clean, Grand. What they do is they take the gymnasts out, put it in a plastic bag, and they put it back inside the turkey, don't they? Do they? Yeah. <laughs> You took the bag out, didn't you? I didn't know it was in there, Ken. Oh, my God. <laughs> boring, boring, boring. Boring. <laughs> boring! Oh, you whack, you won in a minute, Rodney! So you're going to stay in with me and Grandad? Look, if I want to go out, I'll go out. You won't. I will. You won't, Rodney. I will, Del. You won't. I will. You won't. I will. I'm off out now. See you. getting rather late and my brother and I were wondering if you were thinking about going home yet. Oh, yes, we were just going to get our coats. Oh, good. We can have your chairs in, can't we? <laughs> 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 <laughs>